Hello everybody, Science here. I'm going to quickly go over the new features of the Astral Power Pro Bar. A couple things that you may already know. This does predictive Astral Power, meaning if we have zero right now, what happens when I cast something else? New Moon generates 10, so when I cast New Moon, I should see 10, just like that. 10 plus 20 for Half Moon, 30, and then I should have a 40 up here, so 30 to 70 minus 40. Cool. And maybe you saw that little thing there earlier, that little tiny bar going across the center of the predictive bar. That's actually a cast bar. That shows you the amount of time left on your cast, essentially. So you're, you don't have to look at your cast bar on your, uh, on your UI. Instead, you can just refer to the actual bar that you should be looking at, given you are looking at it. So nothing spectacular. It does work with every single spell. In addition, this generation also works with Stellar Flare. It does go the other way. So if it goes to the right because we're generating, it'll go to the left because we're consuming. Everything works fine as is. One of the other features of this is a Fury of a Loon Tracker. And I'm just going to jump all the way to 100 real quick. Then I have to put up some events in the combat log because that's how I set this up. So based on how active the combat log is, Fury of a Loon will generate uh, a couple numbers here and there. Maybe it'll go up and down based on averages, but for the most part, it will generate a very, very accurate timer based on the amount of astral power you currently have, not your predicted amount. Now, if you saw those red numbers pop up, that's the overflow warning, meaning you're gonna break 100. So if you are about to exceed 100, it'll show red, but if you land on 100, you're still in the green, no problem. So here's Fury of Balloon. Let's get some things going real quick. Tracker right here with a nice little 3D graphic going because I like doing that sort of stuff. And that's the amount of time you have left before it expires. So maybe you'll see the cast in time, but for the most part, you're going to have to do a calculation beforehand to know when to cast full moon. For most people, it'll be like 55 to 60 astral power current in order to cast full moon on time. And that's with generic levels of haste, not zero or 25 or whatever you want to use. So one of the cool features of this is shooting stars. I have multiple modes for it. One that shows, well, one, mode number one, shows the amount of astral power you will see in one second on average. So if I just switch this over here, we jump, and there we go. We have two dots active right now because Sunfire hit two targets. And we'll get half an astral power expected in that amount of time, one second. Then I have two other modes on here. I have three modes overall, zero, one, and two. Mode number one, very simply put, just shows the total number of dots you have active. So if I change this to zero and I press Sunfire on this target right here, I should see two pop up underneath Starfall, or uh, Shooting Stars. And there we do. It also does that for uh, all targets, and it tracks them based on GUID, meaning this is going to be very, very, very accurate. Now, you notice when this falls off, it should drop to zero, and we ran out of uh, time because we had to be in combat. There we go. So you're still at one when we had that last one up there. So. That works pretty well. Uh, it's updating very, very fast. So it does have fail safes in it. So it's not gonna show something like 500 targets after a day's worth of combat. It will clear itself if a uh, update is not met within a certain amount of time. I think it's set to three seconds if it doesn't detect anything. And if it doesn't see anything for three seconds, it just assumes that dot has vanished and it no longer considers it a real dot, and therefore it clears it out of the table. So that was the Astro Power Pro Bar preview. 
everything's pretty much good to go at this point. I have one more plan for now, which is to add trinkets in a database fashion that will automatically update. So trinket one would go like right here and trinket two would go right here. That'd be based on your slots. So trinket one would go right here, trinket two to the right. And from there, it'll just automatically update and track your trinkets for you, given they can be tracked. Not all trinkets need to be tracked after all. Some just have passive stats. Anyway, that's it for now. Have a good night.